Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Imperial. Today we are going to talk about my desk setup. I've created two other videos regarding my home office. So if you find something in the space that you like or that you're interested in, I encourage you watch those two videos because today is going to be mainly about the desk setup. And as usual, timestamps are in the description below in case you want to jump around and all products that is mentioned on this video will be there as well. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing we need to talk about is the desk. I have this tabletop from Ikea and it's called the Carl B and I have it in the walnut finish. It's sitting on an electric standing base from a Mezo. I think this combination is pretty solid. I'm pretty happy that I went with this route. And actually we use the same base for my wife's desk setup. This tabletop is only 24 inches deep. So I wanted to save as much desk space as possible. So in order to do that, I needed to get this monitor mount from Vivo so that I can mount my 34 inch ultra wide monitor on it. I find that the colors of this monitor is good enough. And I really love that it has a 100 watt power delivery pass through so I can connect it using one single USB-C cable to my MacBook Pro. I have a 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro sitting on this 12 South book arc. I have it in space gray and it has the i9 processor 2.4 gigahertz. It has 32 gigs of RAM, 8 gigabytes of video card and also one terabyte of storage. I use this laptop as my daily driver and I use it for both architecture and content creation. So if you want to see my one year review of the MacBook Pro, go ahead and check out the cards up top or the links in the description below. On top of my monitor, I have this green bar from BenQ. It's literally a game changer, especially for somebody like me. I always have a document that I need to refer to, or sometimes I have drawings laying flat on my desk, and this helps reduce the strain on my eyes. Aside from the functionality of having a screen bar, I love the practicality aspect of it. Since it's sitting on top of your monitor, it doesn't take up any desk space, and that's a big plus for me. In addition to this screen bar, I have this LED strip behind my desk it just helps create that ambient lighting and also reduce eye strain on the right side of my monitor i have this five fine k690 microphone which i've been using a lot for my zoom meetings and videos like this and i have it mounted on this ano gear boom arm they have a cheaper version on amazon but i find this one to be more functional and more rigid and I like the fact that I can configure it in many ways. And once I'm done using it, I can simply swing this all around and I can hide this microphone behind my monitor. I have this desk mat from Orbit Key and I love that there's this hidden storage underneath it. Like I said, there are several documents that are referred to on a daily basis, whether that's for architecture or even sometimes cheat sheets for content creation. I love the fact that I can hide it within this desk mat and I don't have to look for it and I can still have it easily accessible without my desk looking too cluttered. This desk mat is unlike no other because they have this quick access toolbar, which I thought was pretty cool. This is where you can leave tools and devices that you need quick access to or things that you usually don't want just laying somewhere on your table. It adds just a little bit more storage solution for your desk and I like it. I like it a lot. This is also where I leave my keys and I don't know if you guys know but Orbit Key actually creates this key organizers. I've had one since 2015 or 2016 and I don't think I can ever go back to not having this because it's such a smart solution. No more dangling keys. And as a guy, I usually have my keys in my pocket and that can be really annoying. They also have this magnetic cable holder. So if you need to charge one of your devices, you can always plug it in and you have control of where the cable goes. And I thought that's pretty cool. Feels super soft when you have your hands resting on it. And I think it's because of that extra wool layer, maybe underneath that kind of creates that extra padding. It just feels nice. And I recommend that you check it out. 
So this Orbit Key desk pad is the large size and I think this is the biggest that I can go especially because I want to kind of align it with how big my monitor is. I think it makes it look a lot cleaner and proportionally I think this is the perfect size for my tabletop. On top of this mat right now I have the Keychron K4 mechanical keyboard. I gotta be honest I'm not the biggest fan of mechanical keyboards. I've used them a lot in the past. My friends swear by it so I was like you know what, why not try it again? And so far, I think it's okay. I'm still not fully sold on it, but you know what? I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to test it out. But if it doesn't work out for me eventually, I might have to switch back to the MX Master Keys. I still have it. And every now and then I switch back and forth. Since this Keychron K4 sits much, much higher than my MX Master Keys, I had to get this Keychron Wrist Rest which made the experience a lot better. I didn't buy it right away, and it makes a whole lot of difference having it versus not having it. As for my mouse, I'm still using the MX Master 2S. I just prefer the look of this over the MX3. If I'm ever gonna upgrade, it's probably because of the USB-C, but for now, I don't find the need to do that, especially when I have this one and it's working perfectly. I did buy this wrist rest from Delta Hub called Carpio, I think. And recently my wrists have just been a little bit more uncomfortable than usual. So I thought, why not buy it and test it out? At first, it's a little bit awkward to use, but once you get the hang of it, it really alleviates that pressure kind of on your wrist right here. And so far, so good. I can see the benefits of it. I'm not 100% sold yet, but so far it has been working and that's what matters right in front of this desk pad i have this magsafe charger mounted on a walnut wood stand from grove made this is easily my favorite part of this desk i think it just looks so beautiful and it really complements the look that i'm going for this walnut and black kind of combination this product is so simple but the execution is just flawless GroveMate is really good at doing those kinds of things where they make a product that's functional and also beautiful. It has awesome build quality and it's heavy guys. So you know that this charger is not gonna go anywhere. You can easily put in your phone, remove it with no effort at all. And I love that. I also have this Mophie wireless charger on my desk so that I can easily charge devices that aren't MagSafe compatible like my AirPods Pros. Right next to it, I have this walnut pen holder and it allows me to have easy access to my favorite tools, pens, and pencils, and all of that stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. A lot of people see this dial on my desk and they ask me what it is. It's actually the volume and bass control for my speakers. I have my speakers mounted onto the shelves, both on the left and the right side of my desk. And I find this to be the perfect mounting spot because this is a standing desk. And the wires that came with my speakers are a little short. And every time I put them on the standing position, it gets tugged a little bit. So I find that by mounting it on the shelves, they can stay put. They don't have to go up and down with the desk. And it also saves me some space. And like I said, that's a big priority for me. Another addition that I have on my desk is this Nest from Orbit Key. Here I put a lot of the things that I want to have quick access to. I have my one terabyte SSD storage, my card reader, several cables. I would usually put my AirPods Pros in here too. So I like having all of those important tools in here so that when I need to go outside and do something, I can easily just grab this Nest and go. And I don't have to think about what else I need. I know that I'm going to be covered. So that's really cool. Plus, there is this really cool feature that's included in this Nest and it actually has a wireless charger on top of it. So when you're out in a coffee shop, when we're back to doing that, you can just bring this all and have a portable wireless charger with you. And I think that was a very, very genius solution by Orbit Key. I have three more things that I want to show you and they're all from Grove Made. And the first thing that I want to show you guys is this wool coasters they're just so simple but i love the fact that 
they even made this into something beautiful, nice, and functional. And I just have four of them sitting on my desk. I love having several drinks. And since I didn't really touch up or added protection to my desktop, I always feel much better having a coaster for my drinks. And even some things that I think are a little rough, I just put them on the coaster to prevent it from scratching my desk. Another thing that I have on my desk is this headphone stand, which again, as you guessed it, is in walnut color from Grove Made. A lot of times you see products that are beautiful, but are not functional, or functional, but are not beautiful. And they are really good at marrying those two together. And this headphone stand is a good representation of that. Since my headphones of choice is the AirPods Max, I still leave it on the smart case because it doesn't have a power button. But when I'm using it in between sessions or when I need to take a break and whatnot, I leave it on this headphone stand. It has this leather finish on the sides. So you know that your ear cups are protected. It's not gonna get scratched. So I move this around to the left or the right side of my desk, depending on what I'm doing, but it's very portable and I love it. I use my iPad Pro a lot with my MacBook Pro and not necessarily as a screen mirroring or an extended display, but I use it as an additional supplemental device. This is where I pull up the photos that I need to look at, documents that I need to refer to, and basically if I want to look up something or need to refer to something, sketches and whatnot, I have it pulled up right here, emails, they're all on here. This allows me to have my iPad in portrait mode or landscape mode, and it's rigid, it's not wobbly. So there you have it guys, this is my 2021 desk setup. If you guys are interested in buying any of the products I mentioned, please use the links in the description below because they really do help out this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.